Today we're going to go through some exercises that are going to keep you steady and strong while you're at home cocooning. The exercises that we've put together on this special leaflet specifically work on your balance and your strength. So all you need for these exercises are a steady chair with armrests if possible, two simple weights, something like two cans or two bottles of water, and you'll need flat, comfortable shoes. No bare feet and no slippers. It's important that your space is clear and safe for you to exercise. If you find that you're getting really good at your exercises and that you're able to do the 10 repetitions easily, you can make it more challenging for yourself and you can improve on it by attaching ankle weight to your ankle. So in our physio department, we use something like this. It's two pounds in weight, but you may not have something like this at home, so you could improvise and maybe fill a sock with some rice, about two pounds in weight. This is your brochure, your exercise brochure, and on the front you have a diary. Just tick the box when you do your exercises. Okay. So I'm gonna ask you to do a set in the morning and a set in the evening. And that way you'll be able to track your progress and motivate okay. yourself to keep on going, to stay strong and steady. Great, thank you. Michelle, if I don't feel well, what should I do on a day? Yeah, so the day you're not feeling well, you can take a break from your exercises, and when you're feeling better again, you'll resume them. Michelle, if I do 10 of all the exercises, how am I going to feel at the end? Well, the first thing I want to, to tell you is to start off at your own pace. If you find that you can achieve two or three well and that's enough, you can build from there every day as you do them. And that's really important. The other thing is that when you start doing your exercises, you may actually feel a little bit of muscle ache and that's your muscles telling you that they're working. And so that's actually, that's a good feeling. So that mild muscle ache, you can expect that as you do them and your muscles will actually get used to it over time. So the first thing we do is um, a small warm up and that's to boost your circulation to get you ready for your strengthening exercises. First thing we start with is a small warm up to get your circulation going so you're ready for exercise. So you're going to mark your feet on the spot in sitting. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds so we're getting nice and warm and you feel your circulation flowing. If you're able, you can add in your arms as well, nice and gently on the spot. Great burr. And if you find the legs too difficult, you could just do the arms. So you do what you're able for at your own pace for 30 seconds to warm up. So in this exercise, we're strengthening the muscle at the front of your thigh, which is your quads muscle. And this is really important for walking up and down the stairs, getting in and out of your chair, and generally mobilizing around. I want you to sit up tall, Burr, nice and steady in your chair. You're going to straighten your left leg fully and bring your toes up to you and hold for five, four, three, two, one. And slowly lower. And again, five, four, three, two, one, and slowly lower. And once more, you're going to feel the front of your thigh here. So feel the tap the muscle a little, and that's going to make it work harder for you. And lower slowly. And again, five, four, three, two, one. And last one, five, four, three, two, one. And we're going to change side. Lovely. Five, four, three, two, one. And again, straighten your knee fully, toes up to you, and slowly lower. All the time, you're keeping your tummy and your back strong. You're sitting nice and upright. Okay. And again, five, four, three, two, one. And last one, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Your arm exercises are for your upper body strength. They're really important. So it's good to keep your arms strong. So you just need to have two weights, two tins or two bottles of water. And now one at a time, we're going to lift one can over your head and back down. And lift and bend your elbow and replace. Lift your right, Bend your elbow and replace. Left and replace. We're gonna take it a little bit slower. Take your time and replace. 
lift and replace. So you might find that this is a little bit difficult for you if you have any shoulder problems. So there's no problem there. You can just lift them to a lower level as you can manage. And if that is still proving difficult, you can do them with no weights. Just as you can manage. Great. Really good. So in this exercise, it's important that your chair is pushed against the wall so it doesn't tip over. And we do sit to stand multiple times a day. So in itself, it's a great exercise and it's really useful to be good at it. First of all, I'm gonna get you to put your steady chair against the wall so it doesn't tip back and you're safe. And then we're going to work through the exercise as I instruct. So the first thing I want you to do, Burr, is to walk your hips out your chair. So about halfway out your chair. I want you to keep your feet steady on the ground. Bring your nose over your toes and push up into standing. Lovely. Can you step back, feel for the chair behind your knees and slowly lower yourself to sitting. We're going to do that again. Walk your bottom halfway out your chair, nose over toes and push up into standing. Step back, feel for the chair with the back of your knees and slowly lower into sitting. So walk your bottom halfway out the chair, Feet are steady on the ground, nose over toes and push up into standing. Step back to feel the chair behind your knees and slowly lower yourself into the chair. One more time. Walk a halfway out your chair, steady feet on the ground, nose over toes and push up into standing. Step back, feel for the chair and slowly lower yourself into sitting. You can start out with this exercise as you are able, so maybe one or two repetitions might be enough, but you can work up towards 10. If you're not able to achieve this, if you find it difficult to stand up fully from sitting, it's still worthwhile pushing up and making an attempt. In this exercise, you're going to be in standing. You're going to hold on to a steady surface with both hands. That's either your kitchen sink or a very steady chair. Your feet are going to be hip width apart, so you're nice and comfortable. And then you're going to lift up onto your toes to strengthen your calf muscles. This is really important for walking. Your feet are hip width apart, so nice and comfortable. I want you to look straight ahead. And now are you going to lift up onto your toes and slowly down. Again, lift up onto your toes and slowly drop your heel to the ground. We're going to slow that down a little bit, if possible. It's important to have strong calves to put a spring in your step. Then you're going to lift up onto your toes and slowly drop down. The next exercise is toe raises. Hold on to your steady surface, your kitchen sink or your chair with both hands. You're going to place your weight on the back of your foot and then you lift your toes and slowly drop. That's really good. Lift your toes and slowly drop. And it's important to keep your bottom in here that you don't lean back or swing your hips back. And this exercise strengthens the front of your shin and this is really important for walking. And slowly down. Good. And again, we're working as you're able up to 10 repetitions. So hip strengthening is important for your side hip muscles and for the muscles in your bottom. They're really big muscles, so they actually determine how we walk around and they're really important to do. So this exercise is for strengthening the side of your hip and your bottom muscles. You're holding on to your steady chair or your sink with both hands. You're going to put your feet hip width apart so you're nice and comfortable. And now I'm going to ask you to lift your left leg out to the side and slowly drop it back in. And again, slowly drop it back in. Now it's important here to keep your posture upright and that you don't sway to the side or bend. 
And what's really nice in this exercise is lifting leg is working hard and the standing leg is working hard. So you'll feel that work on both sides. And after five, we're going to change to the other side. Good. And again, remembering to keep your back upright and your hips level, okay. that you're not leaning to the side. Great. Really good work in the standing leg and in the lifting leg. The next exercise is a balance exercise. It's heel to toe standing. I want you to stand in front of your steady surface, two hands on your steady chair or your kitchen sink. And this is a little bit challenging because I'm going to ask you to put one foot in front of the other. So you're going to try and get them heel to toe and you're holding on nice and securely all of the time. If you find that too hard, I want you to stride stand. Okay, so you're going to place the feet a little apart and you're going to try and hold that for 10 seconds. Good. And then we're going to change sides. Left foot in front of right. And again, you feel the work of it in your legs. And the last exercise is also a balance exercise. It's standing on one leg. Balance exercise. And in this one, we're going to stand on one leg. Again, you're holding onto your steady chair or your kitchen sink with two hands so that you're nice and secure. You're going to lift one leg to stand. Great. And it's important that you don't join your knees together. So you're going to keep your knees apart. You may find this challenging. You may not be able to hold it for 10 seconds, but it's going to have a benefit even if you're able to hold it for one or two and you're going to build on that then. So we change sides. And again, holding. And again, emphasizing that if you can hold it for a short time, you can build on um, that every time you do it. Well done on doing our exercises today and thank you for taking part in our physiotherapy exercise program. We encourage you to stay safe and strong at this time and if you want more information you can visit our website or our social media.